might be like, don't touch me, I'm burnt. <laughs> oh, it's on me. <gasps> I was 19 and River was 16 and we had never been on a flight before. So the flight attendants gave us those pins. And then on the flight, dad wasn't sitting next to us because they were rows of three, but he was talking to this pilot who was on his lunch break. And the pilot was so nice and he actually pulled over and switched seats with me so that when we flew into California, I could see the Hollywood sign, which I never would have seen otherwise. And we were worried that River wouldn't enjoy Disneyland because he didn't like rides, but he went on Space Mountain and he, right away, he really enjoyed it. It's not very scary. Oh, there we go. We also took a tour of Hollywood and quickly I realized that Hollywood's disgusting, but it was still lots and lots of fun. You're gonna get soaked! Oh my god! <laughs> Flip it around again. I promise okay. I won't take a picture. Um, I said it will be similar to the same class that picked up for LA. We'll have everything they need. Time. I'm waiting. <laughs> Dang it! Too bad it's on video. <laughs> you don't have to permagrin. You don't have to permagrin. <laughs> Tell the camera why you took your shoes off. <laughs> Here we realized that old guy was photobombing us. <laughs> And this is what I used to think Los Angeles was supposed to look like, but boy was I wrong. I had always wanted to go to Disneyland, but I never realized how much I would love Universal Studios, even though that's when I knew that I wanted to do film. So a lot of this footage is from the tour, and then some of it are from the rides later. Eight or nine years old, and I wanted to become a filmmaker. <laughs> I like films that just take you away from your real life and sweep you up in the nature. eyes and ears this afternoon because you can more easily see up that hill on her left hand side than I can. If that flash flood that Al Roker predicted actually does happen, which I don't think it will, but if it does occur, can you guys just give me a bit of a heads up, you know, wave your arms wildly back and forth, scream at the top of your lungs because I'd like to know if the pending doom is, you know, hurtling down the hill towards our tram. Cars, we have more than a flash flood out of your way, watch out! Cars, one to two, center right towards you! So they used 11 of our sound stages down on our front line and also large, large portions of our back lot as well. Now the who's that live out here in the back lot these days, they have a bit more of a pesky neighbor to contend with than just the Grinch because they live next door to a psycho. That's right guys, welcome back to the legendary Bates Motel, set made famous in Alfred Hitchcock's 1960 thriller Psycho, owned and operated of course by Mr. Norman Bates. We all go a little mad sometimes. Oh, Trisha, I think I just saw Norman over there on the right-hand side. Looks like he's heading into room number one. Maybe he'll come back outside and say hello. Maybe sign some autographs. Oh, goodness. It's a locker. I guess it's a full-service checkout here at the Bates Motel. Okay, folks, I'm going to remain quiet here for a few moments. Maybe Norman won't notice us sitting over here in this more very long four-car trim. Oh, hey, Norman. 
How are you doing today, sir? Nothing to see here, just 150 or so tourists taking a tour of the Universal Backlot. No witnesses, I guarantee you. Hey, he's got a knife, Trisha. You should probably think about getting out of here. And he's walking towards our train. Yeah, don't walk towards car number one, Norman. Walk towards uh, car number four. Yeah, we'll go for it. There's where you want to go. Sorry, go for it. Nothing personal. I'd watch out. Thank you. Dicey. That's a close call. You saved our lives, Trisha. We appreciate that. One final sweep before they open up the beach for tourists. That's you guys, of course. I think I see one of our divers in the water right now next to that boat. That's Universal Diver George. Hey, George, how's it going today? Hold on a second, folks. I think that's a shark heading towards George. Uh, well, no need to worry, ladies and gentlemen. George is one of our most experienced divers. He should be totally fine. That didn't sound good. Well, in unrelated news, we're currently hiring experienced divers here at Universal, so if you feel you're qualified, please see me or Trisha at the end of the tour. Yeah, Trisha, I think you have the right idea. Let's head on down the pier here a little bit. Oh, let's park next to these safe-looking barrels marked up. We should be fine, guys, as long as the pier stays in one place. That's been a natural cover for us. And Trisha, did you see that? I think that pier just moved. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that gasoline should just be spraying all over the dock like that as well. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay, so none of these have been good signs, guys, so I'm going to need you to be on the lookout for a shark. Uh, he's pretty big. He's got a lot of teeth, and, well, he's a shark! Okay, guys, I know that shark looks pretty fake up close, but tell me why were you screaming? Have you looked So we went on the Jurassic Park ride and you should buy the poncho even though it's overpriced so you don't get completely soaked like we did. And then this one is my personal favorite because the worker at the photo kiosk said that she had never seen someone look as ugly as I did in this ride photo. <laughs> Which is true, this is my favorite picture of myself. And the reason I look so scared is because there was some spiders during the ride that freaked me out. It was also really cool because during the special effects show, my family got chosen to go up on stage and act. And we were supposed to be running away from a mop that was really like supposed to be a dinosaur or something. And my mom tripped me so that she could get away and then the MC was like, nice to know you'd really care after your family. <laughs> it's really cool that we got chosen to be in the show because when my mom was little, she was actually also chosen to be in the show, which is this one.
thanks for watching my Disneyland and Universal Studio vlog thingy from a few years ago. If you had fun watching that, I am actually going back to Universal Disneyland and I'm also going to be going to Warner Brothers Studio. So if you would like to follow me on my trip, subscribe!